deserted streets and wide-scale testing. Many countries now consider such scenes as a thing of the past. But in Shanghai, it's far from over for the city's 25 million inhabitants. In early April, China's largest city returns to lockdown after a fresh surge of COVID-19 infections, peaking at around 25,000 new cases per day. Since then, the spread has slowed considerably, but the authorities are still enforcing their zero COVID strategy. Uh, we have uh, discussed about this issue with um, uh, Chinese uh, experts uh, and we uh, indicated that the approach, um, uh, you know, uh, will not be sustainable. And considering uh, the uh, behavior of the virus, uh, I think a shift will be very important. According to the World Health Organization, the zero COVID approach is particularly ineffective against the Omicron variant. The Chinese authorities continue to defend their strict lockdown response, despite criticism from parts of the population, like here in Shanghai. The government's official figures show only 5,000 people have died from COVID-19 since the outbreak began in early 2020. In a call with his Chinese counterpart, Xi Jinping, French President Emmanuel Macron expressed concern about the fate of the 7,000 French nationals in Shanghai and deplored the closure of air links between his country and China.